Okay, we're rolling and in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are making yet another product commercial, but this time, there's a catch. Today's video is brought to you by our lovely sponsor, Canva. And you might remember a couple of months ago, I made a video where we did a commercial of a soda brand, all edited within Canva. Now, the thing is that commercial featured a bunch of still images edited together to be animated into a product commercial. Whereas this time around, I'm actually going to be shooting real video footage that we will then edit all inside Canva. We're gonna see how it goes. Now the commercial we're making is for Magic Spoon Maple Waffle Flavor. And of course we wouldn't be able to do that without some real waffles. So let's dive into our first shot. Microwave 30. All right, so here's the idea. We're gonna grab one of these sponges here and use it as a base to put in one of our bamboo skewers. Skewer goes into the sponge and the other end of the skewer goes into a waffle. And then we're gonna prop it up, pour the maple syrup on top of the waffle. Hopefully it looks nice and appetizing. Camera goes on the tripod. That is super bright. I think I need a little bit more light coming from underneath here. So I'm just gonna grab one of these little aperture lights. Let's hit record and we're just gonna go for it. Now I was gonna say that this next shot was gonna create a bit of a mess, but as you can see, I've already done that in my couple of practice runs. So we're gonna take our cereal now and put it onto this plastic bag. Now we just hit record on the camera. And in three, two, one. So the next thing I wanna do is I really want to try and get a shot with the Lawa Pro Blends of a cereal pour through the box. So here's what we have set up. Right here, we've got this little stack of a roll of gaff tape, three counterweights, a friction arm, and then we've got our box of cereal all gaff taped up. And inside the box of cereal, I have gaff taped that piece of plastic so that it looks realistic from the inside view. And the idea is that we take the Pro Blends and push through while we pour in the cereal using this half of the box. As I push through this with the probe, you're gonna come in with the cereal and I'm gonna follow it down into the bowl. Three, two, one. All right, now it is officially time to start editing our product video. Now, our first step is to go to canva.com. And for those of you who don't know, Canva is completely free to use, but you do have the option to upgrade to Canva Pro for a whole bunch of other time-saving features and tools. We're gonna start here by creating a brand kit. I'm gonna title this Maple Waffle. And next, we're gonna bring in a logo and any photos we might have. One of my favorite features is the ability to extract colors from the photos that we add to our brand kit. So I'm gonna do that. And finally, we can add any fonts that we might use for our project. Now we're going to create a new video project and just drag all of our files into there and they will be added into the upload section. And now we can start assembling our timeline. We're going to start with our waffle shot with the maple syrup pouring on top. I want to make this shot a little bit more dramatic, so I'm going to select it and add a breathe animation. This is essentially like a Ken Burns style scale in effect. I feel like this is a good captivating way to start off our sequence. But before I go any further, I'm definitely going to want to add some music. Music. Preferably something upbeat and fun. Now Canva actually does have a large built-in library of music from Epidemic Sound. And I think for this video, I like this song here called Presidential. Now generally when I make these product videos, I like to have a nice impact or exciting shot right near the start. So I'm gonna bring in that video clip where I throw the cereal in the air. And I'm also going to bring in this photo that I already added to our brand kit. Now this is where Canva Pro really comes in handy. I'm going to select our photo and use the background remover tool. And this will automatically detect the background behind the box and remove it from our shot. Now we're just going to adjust the size and the position rotation of our box so that it's somewhere in the frame that we like. And to give the cereal box a little more movement, I'm going to add this drift animation. Looking pretty good. I think I might also add a drop shadow to our box. This just ties everything together a little bit nicer. And here is our cereal explosion. It's pretty amazing when you consider that what we just did is a fairly intricate compositing technique all done within Canva. Now to tie these first two shots together a 
little bit better, I'm going to add a transition. I personally really like the look of a fast circle wipe transition on the out direction. Next, we've got these two label shots here. Very simple. We're just going to add the breathe animation to both of these just to give them some more life, some more movement. Then we're going to move along to this first pouring shot. I'm going to double click on the video here and I'm going to start increasing the size, move it over just a touch. And I think that this framing looks a lot better. And like our other shots, I'm going to add the breathe animation. And now moving along to the pro blends shot. And I do actually have an idea for this because this shot is a little bit longer than the others. I'm going to start by adding another one of the circle wipe transitions into the shot. And then at some point in the middle of the shot, maybe on the beat of the music, I'm going to split the clip. On our second part of that pro blends shot, I'm going to bring in our waffle shot once again. And I'm just going to tweak the framing so that the waffle is on the left side and we have this sort of split screen. And now to transition from that first probe shot that's taking up the whole screen into that next shot where it's that split screen, I'm going to use the line wipe transition, making sure that it's on the right direction. We can select the probe shot and use the trim tool to adjust the in and out points to make sure that the two shots line up. And this is looking pretty cool. I feel like this is a good opportunity to really highlight the flavor profile of the cereal. So let's get creative with some text here. I'm going to add in a text heading and type in maple waffle all caps. I'm going to change the font to the one we added to our brand kit. And using our text effects, I'm going to set maple to the hollow effect and then waffle to glow. I'm going to change the color to orange to match the rest of the video. And finally, I'm going to add the breathe animation to the text. And here is how that whole pro blends shot and transition looks. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. Now we're going to move along to our milk pour shot. Very simple stuff here. Might adjust the framing a little bit, but we're going to add the breathe animation once again, just for that subtle pushin, makes it more dramatic. And now that we're done with all of our video footage, it is time to create a nice ending shot. So I'm going to copy and paste that photo of the box that we used before. Four, and I'm going to put it in a position where it's kind of large and taking up a good chunk of the frame. And I'm actually going to go ahead and right click on the shot in the timeline here and duplicate it and move our box to the other side of the frame a little bit smaller. And now we're going to add a transition between these two shots. This is the new match and move transition. It will automatically detect the box in the two different frames and move it across almost like a keyframe. That looks pretty good. So we're just going to duplicate the second shot now and add some text. And I'm just going to go into the graphics here and add some twinkly stars to spice this up. We can copy and paste those all throughout the three frames. And once we play that back, this is what it looks like. Now it is time to add some sound effects. So Canva actually now has 89,000 sound effects built into the platform, all from Epidemic Sound, which is incredibly useful for bringing life to your videos. I can start by typing in cereal, and we've got a bunch of cereal pouring sound effects that come up. We can choose a bunch of these, so we'll just start bringing those in. There's also this weird kind of glop sound effect for our maple syrup. And of course, we're going to get an explosion sound effect for our cereal box explosion. And I'll just continue to go through these and add more sound effects where I see fit. And once we're happy with the way everything looks and sounds, we can go up here to export our video, and here is the final result. It's pretty incredible because Canva is known as a graphic design platform, but what you can do with their new video features is just, it's pretty amazing. I mean, just the fact that we were essentially able to composite a cereal box exploding all within Canva without the use of, you know, special effects software is pretty darn cool. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like 45 free days of Canva Pro, then go to canva.me slash Daniel S or click the link in the description. Follow me on Instagram at Daniel.Schiffer. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.